Hi, this video has been prepared to reveal to you what the NEAR protocol is. We will tell you how it appeared, explain how it works, and how to earn money with it. Watch our video to the end, we'll tell you a few secrets that will be very useful to you. We'll leave you a link to buy NEAR under this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it. Stay tuned, it will be interesting. NEAR is a proof-of-stake blockchain that launched its core network in 2020. It is a decentralized development platform designed to provide an ideal environment for dApps, overcoming some of the limitations of competing systems. A developer-friendly blockchain that incorporates a number of innovations to increase the scalability and reduce costs for developers and end-users. According to the creators, an application on NEAR can be launched in just 5 minutes. NEAR is open source, anyone can start contributing to its development. Near Protocol raised nearly $50 million in a private funding round in the first four months before the blockchain was even built, and this was during a bear market. Near Protocol is a product of two brilliant people, Alexander Skidano and Ilya Polohin. The pair met in 2018 thanks to the renowned startup gas pedal program Y Combinator. For those unfamiliar, Y Combinator is responsible for launching some of the biggest tech and crypto projects, including Coinbase, Dropbox, Airbnb, Filecoin, and even Reddit. Both Alex and Ilya have strong credentials. Alex is a former software engineer at Microsoft and was the CTO of MemSQL before founding Near. Ilya used to work as an engineer in Google's famous research department, where he worked on the language technologies that are now used in Google Translate. Alex and Ilya were able to grow their team from 2 to 10 within a day after Near Protocol was announced in July 2018. They also got about $15 million of funding before they even developed anything, and it was during a bear market. Since then, the team has grown to more than 50 people and includes several medalists and finalists in international student programming competitions. Since the Near Protocol team is based in San Francisco, it is close to the developers of projects such as Ethereum, Solar, Lana, Cosmos, and Polkadot. Thanks primarily to a successful series of YouTube boards, the NIA team was able to take advantage of these connections to launch their first main network this April. The final version of the main network was released on October 13th, understanding Alex's vision to catch up with other next-generation blockchains in the crypto space within two years. The NIA protocol is a cryptocurrency blockchain with smart contracts functionality. It is designed to be developer-friendly and facilitate the creation of decentralized applications. NEAR is also compatible with Ethereum. NEAR uses a segmentation mechanism called Nightshade and a blockchain generation mechanism called Doomslug to process over 100,000 transactions per second. Transaction fees on NEAR are so small that a special unit of measurement is required to quantify them. The NIA blockchain was developed by the NIA Collective, a group of more than 50 talented developers located around the world. With the release of the NIA Core Network in mid-October 2020, partial ownership of the NIA blockchain was transferred to NIA token holders. NIA Foundation, a Swiss non-profit, currently oversees the management and development of the NIA blockchain. It consists of well-known people in the cryptocurrency industry, including NIA co-founder Ilya Polokhin. Over time, full control of the blockchain will be transferred to NIA token holders. This will turn NIA into a decentralized, autonomous organization. NIA is a delegated blockchain confirming share which uses segmentation to optimize performance. However, unlike sharding in other cryptocurrencies such as Polkadot, all shards on NIA are treated as part of the same blockchain. NIA can also interact with Ethereum using the Rainbow Bridge NIA. This is all thanks to a mechanism called Nightshade. With Nightshade, only a snapshot of the current state of each shard is added to the blockchain near. Each shard is supported by its own set of validator nodes, which broadcast the state of each shard every time a block is created. 
The easiest way to visualize this is as an intersection of several roads. The intersection itself is a near blockchain, and each road is a shard. Moreover, shards are near can run in parallel because the transactions running on them do not overlap. This greatly improves efficiency. Another important component of near is a mechanism called Dome Slug. Without going into technical details, it allows validator nodes in the network to take turns generating blocks. This happens every epoch, and each epoch lasts 12 hours. A new block is generated by near about every second. The reward per block on near is related to inflation, which is currently about 5% per year. 90% of the reward for each block goes to staking validators and delegates staking pools, and the remaining 10% goes to the near treasury, which is currently managed by near foundation. If you want to become a validator node on NEAR, you will need to supply NEAR tokens. The exact amount you need to bet depends on how many tokens are bet by other validators in that segment. This also determines your share of the block rewards that are paid out each epoch. Each NEAR segment contains 100 seeds, and you must have at least one seed to be a validator. The value of each seed is determined by the total amount of the NEAR rate. Misbehaving validators risk losing some of their bid. Validators and delegates may withdraw their bid at any time. The design is intended to encourage validator nodes to protect new or smaller shards where the entry barrier is lower. If you don't have the capital to buy enough near tokens to get a seat, you can convince delegates to delegate their tokens to you. Delegates use betting pools to do this and get a portion of the reward per block from the validators they bet on. You can learn more about near betting here. One interesting thing to note is that the near blockchain currently operates as a single segment. If and when the community votes to include additional shards, an automatic mechanism known as dynamic sharpening will be activated that will create, merge and or destroy shards as required by the network. Management and development are currently controlled by the NEAR Foundation. The NEAR Foundation currently also holds NEAR Treasury funds and can decide how they are spent. Once the management mechanism is worked out, the community will have full control over these elements. NEAR is a cryptocurrency embedded in the NEAR blockchain. It is used for stacking by validator nodes and delegates on the network. Although the blockchain fees for validators and delegates come from 5% annual inflation, NEAR tokens are burned to pay for network fees. While NEAR network fees are incredibly low with enough network activity, the NEAR token becomes a deflationary asset. Annual inflation turns to zero if the network processes more than a billion transactions per day and can drop below 2% if more than 2 billion transactions are processed per day. The ICO of NEAR took place in August 2020 on CoinList. It was delayed by a day because of the huge demand for the tokens. The NEAR ICO sold 120 million NEAR tokens at an average price of about 30 cents, raising about $33 million. This represented 12% of NEAR's total initial offering of 1 billion tokens. Depending on what price they were purchased at, these ICO tokens have a transition schedule of 1 to 2. Of the remaining initial NEAR offering, 17% was reserved for public grants and programs. 14% of NEAR's initial offering was allocated to major participants. 17.6% of the original NEAR offering was sold to previous sponsors. These tokens were sold in seven rounds of private funding that began back in 2017. Together, they raised more than $35 million. 11.7% of NEAR's initial offering will go to early ecosystem initiatives. 10% of NEAR's original proposal was allocated to the NEAR Foundation. The NEAR Foundation will be allowed to delegate these tokens to validators on the NEAR network. If you want to get some NEAR tokens, your options so far are limited to Binance and Huobi. The liquidity on both exchanges is very high, although the total trading volume in 24 hours is not impressive. Also, keep in mind that NEAR is currently subject to 5% annual inflation so you might be better off betting than just storing or trading tokens. There aren't many wallets for NEAR because the cryptocurrency is so new. For mobile wallets, the only option currently available are Trust Wallet and Math Wallet. NEAR also offers eSwap Wallet, but it's still in development, so use it with caution. Whatever you do, don't leave your NEAR tokens on a cryptocurrency exchange. 
Near development has been very intense since the project began in late 2018. After several test networks in 2019, Near began deploying its core network in April 2020. This consisted of three phases – Mainnet POA, Mainnet, and Mainnet under community management. The Mainnet POA focused on adapting validators and network participants. Stakes were not included, and only the Near Foundation was allowed to transfer tokens. In the Mainnet POA, staking was enabled, but no tokens were transferred. There was also the first Near vote to decide when to launch the final version of the Mainnet. The NEAR community voted to launch unrestricted mainnet on October 13th. NEAR is in the process of handing over full control of the blockchain to NEAR token holders. At this stage of the post mainnet, the NEAR team plans to implement several additional features. While many of these are technical, the NEAR white paper notes more ambitious future development milestones. Three of them are worth noting. First, the inclusion of zero-knowledge technology, such as Zcash, to allow private transactions on the NEAR blockchain. The second possible addition to NIA would be private shards. This would allow certain groups or organizations to benefit from the security and speed of the NIA blockchain, while keeping their activities private from the rest of the network. A final possible addition to NIA worth noting is the introduction of mobile nodes. Using phones to power blockchains is nothing new, but this technology has been limited due to poor mobile internet connections and weak phone equipment. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the channel for more videos.